love me now. No, I'm not alive. Do you tackle every maid that comes into your room? Only the pretty ones. Aren't you going to tell me that you miss me? Isn't that obvious? Aren't you wondering why I'm here? But that's a little obvious, too. My only question is what took you so long? What did you say? I've been waiting for weeks for you to come after me. Get out! What? 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 What was that for? You smug, egotistical jerk! You were waiting for me to come to you? Okay, okay. perhaps hoped. Would don't, be don't, don't I was you put a spin on this. Do you think I have nothing better to do than to chase you all the way to Casablanca? I have two kids and a hotel to run, one that you left me when you walked out. Yes, do you remember and, that? And a very brilliantly run hotel. You, you don't a very good change the subject. With that. You know, that uh, maid's uniform is really, uh, very sexy. Really, really does it for me. I am just here to save you from the gold digger. That's all. What gold digger? Don't stand there and act innocent. Your mother told me everything. How this bimbo has been leading you all over North Africa. From casino to casino, party after party, night after night. She probably has you thinking that she's some billionaire or a countess or some, some princess from a country that doesn't even exist. When she's some piece of trash that is only trying to rob you blind. My mother told you all this? Yes, she told me this. And I thought you were smarter than to fall for such a stupid scam like this. But I guess the pain of leaving everything behind has left you with the ability to not use your brain anymore. So I have come here out of the goodness of my heart and sacrificing everything to save you, okay? Did you have a um, specific approach in mind? Yes. To remind you of what you could have if you throw out the trash and come back to me. Oh, so, um, you're jealous. Think that I am jealous of some jet setter that has nothing better to do than to chase you around the world? You tell me. I'm only here to help your mother. I see. Lady Jane is worried about you. Please, Carly, Jax needs you desperately. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she can be relentless. I would like nothing better than to watch this woman rob you blind. It's what you deserve after walking out on me. But out of respect for Lady Jane, I chose to set aside my justified anger and disappointment to spare you some pain. Well, you were disappointed when I left? You're missing the point. No, no, I get it. I mean, you know, you're here to rescue me from, you know, from all this. I mean, it's been awful. It really has. It's, it's lawn parties that last for days and yacht parties that last for weeks. You know, and then you're drinking a lot of champagne and you know what champagne leads to. And then you I get the like picture. Dance. Yeah. I mean, thank God that you're here to rescue me. condition. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm listening. You tell this gold digger to get lost, that you're otherwise engaged. And that's all I have to do? I'll be waiting in the bar downstairs. And you know how I eat, do I? and Michael are all tucked in and Letitia's recovering nicely from our afternoon at the bazaar. She bought 17 passes at last count. Wow. <laughs> it was really a splendid afternoon all the way around. Michael bought a camel. Well, not a real one. And Morgan fell asleep wearing the most adorable fez. Don't you want to know what happened, Jax? Oh, of course I do. I mean, after all, this whole rescue mission was your idea. <laughs> Uh, well, it's very educational for the children. Would you like a drink, dear? Oh, no thanks. That's okay. Oh, well, let's not let it go to waste. <laughs> Is there a problem? 
Oh, no, not at all. No, no, tell me the details. Well, at least the details Jax wouldn't mind his mother knowing. Okay. Well, first of all, I dressed up like a maid to get into his room. I mean, the point was to catch him with this gold digger. And you never told me what she looked like. Oh, well, she changes, dear, like a chameleon. No, she wasn't there. Yeah, when I got there, the room was empty. There was no sign of Jax or this other woman. Oh, dear. But then Jax tackled me to the couch, and when he realized it was me, he kissed me like there was no tomorrow. Well, that's all very lovely, dear, but please spare the details. Sorry. So I just told him what would be waiting for him in Port Charles if he decided to throw out this piece of trash. And I expect uh, he denied everything. Now, you know, Jax, tons of charm, not a lot of detail, which tells me this woman is no competition at all. I expect you're right about that. I told him to meet me here, so he should be showing up any second, which will prove that it is over between him and this fortune hunter. Really? All right. Feels good to have everything settled. I almost forgive you for saying that postcard and signing Jack's thing. <laughs> well, as a mother, I'm sure you appreciate the little white lies we tell sometimes to keep our children happy. <sighs> Okay, listen to me. Jax is going to be walking through that door any second, and the look on your face is going to tell me what I'm up against. There's one thing for sure. This woman that he's been dragging all over Africa and God knows where else, she's toast. About this woman and Jax. It's okay. I know. You do? I know, and it's okay. I get why Jax would be vulnerable to a woman like this. She's a diversion. Well, then, you may never need to mention it to Jax again. I had a diversion, too, Jane. He was... He's a doctor. He's good-looking. He's arrogant. But he's not Jax. I just wish Jax would say miss me or something. <gasps> oh, he does miss you desperately. And I think it's time perhaps you just set all these games aside. Jax loves games, which is why I know he's going to show up here. And he better have proof that he has kicked that Euro trash traveling companion to the curb. And if he can't do that, I'm out of here. Oh, dear. Oh, dear what? I'm afraid I haven't been entirely honest with you. Is there something about this woman you're not telling me? Jax is lonely, and he misses you. I'm sure he's thrilled that you came after Well, I would think so, but he's not here. Maybe he's bailed on me. <sighs> Jax is never one to care for ultimatums. He needs to know that, that, that he counts in your life, gold digger or not. That is not what I need, Jane. I'm the one who got left. I trusted Jax. I fell in love with him. I asked him not to leave, and he left anyway. Look, the only reason I'm here... I flew halfway around the world to find Jax. The least he could do is come down here to the bar and see me. Well, I'm sure he appreciates everything you're doing. Well, he better, because I will never grovel for another man again. So he better walk in this bar and drop to his knees and come up with one hell of an apology and tell me that I'm the only woman in the world for him. Well, truthfully, I may have exaggerated about this woman a bit. I don't think so. My apologies for being late, Carly. Allow me to introduce my friend. Next, General Hospital. I have the right to decide if I want to continue with this pregnancy. I'm not about to lose my mother, son. You lie for your business all the time. Can't you do it for the mother of your child? Alexa, start a coffin and wish Barrett's home taken to the hospital.